Oh, try it out. Mechanically, it's mechanically you kind of have to get used to it. Yeah. Like I used to, like when we first played, I was struggling. Mm. I wasn't doing very well, so I, I ended up People putting generally a will on. at the very beginning. Because I put on the handicap of like initially like what was it 150, oh, and then yeah, I slowly yeah. gradually weaned it down <laughs> to like yeah. 50 eventually. I was like, okay, I'm doing okay, but I. I don't know, dude. Like, that game is so much fun. Dude. So much fun. Yeah, I think we may have had enough entrance today to um, to actually do a bracket if we if I had um, done the sign-ups appropriately. Yeah. But, yeah, I didn't actually start doing the sign-ups until after pools had ended. Mm. And at that point in time, I think people were kind of petering out. Okay. Yeah, I see what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, next time. Yeah, next little, time. We'll advertise a little bit better. Organize a little bit better. I'll Things help Things are running a little slow. Anyways. Next time I'll yeah. help you and we'll figure yeah, it out. Yeah, pools got started cancel. Is this a match? Can, Can we make Duel with, like, a standard thing? I would love for that. That would be I so much fun. Duel is so much fun. Come to Bowser's Revenge, one of the the, the premier event mm -hmm. for your duelist leagues. <laughs> like, that'd be the sick. That'd be sick. It's, oh, please. If he plays Wolf, I'm gonna be very happy. I, I've talked to you. Double Double, double blind? blinded? Okay. <laughs> blind blind blind? Blinded is blinded. definitely it's definitely blinded. Blast <laughs> sense of blind Blast is blinded. Type. Blinded, yeah. Okay, cool. So uh, this is one of the spaces that I feel like, out of all of them, is the most underutilized, mm -hmm. but is sick. Like, yes. uh, a lot of the game plan, just really quickly, goes around comboing into side B. Mm -hmm. And you, the character has multiple ways of doing it. Now, for you guys that think this character is just Falco, but in wolf form, you're wrong because you can crouch cancel shine. Yes. And that's why often you see people do shine, ju jump cancel shine, because they're hoping to see if they can crack uh, their opponent a little bit. Yeah, and oftentimes, even if you do do the, do the double shine and they didn't crouch cancel, it's so fast enough that you can get some conversion off. Yeah. Maybe not like, you know, the most delicious conversion that, you know, you could possibly get. But. You're not getting filet mignon, but you might get mm, Wendy's double stack. Uh, maybe better than that. Maybe, maybe like I'm a, a oh, fan of Wendy's. Baconator? But some Baconator. Okay, yeah. we'll get a Baconator. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Nice. Let's okay. Just taking it pretty, pretty quickly. Up throw? Yeah, there it is. Because this is the fastest faller in this game. So you are going to up throw this character and try to chain grab, but PS2 is going to allow them to DI for a platform and they're going to try to tech roll away. Yeah, in optimal situations, Marth can cover the platform pretty well, though. Similar to Melee, there's actually, like, um, people have, have figured out the, the timing on Battlefield, especially. If space animals are going to land on the platform, you can actually up air in such a way that they will get tipped up air regardless of where they tend. Oh, sick. So, yeah, maybe a little hard to do on this stage. Um, the platforms are a tad lower, I but think? the tech, it, but the tech is there. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely something you can do. This is. Can we just talk for a minute, like about the quick spot dodge that you saw? He saw the side B coming, mm, and then yeah. Ludwig was like spot dodge frame perfect. Like that was sick. But oh, please don't. Oh, okay. What do you got, strong bat? Hold that ledge. Nice. Oh, very nice. Kept it simple. He managed to go around neutral B as well as up B and still mm -hmm. maintain vulnerability. That yeah, was sick. Yeah, not get himself killed and. Still get the, the edge hog afterwards, but that is can be surprisingly difficult. Yeah, <laughs> to like to alter your the way that you're holding the ledge so quickly. Oh. Nice up throw, up tilt. Yeah, he di'd it too because the fact that he di'd it correctly pushed him off stage. Ooh, I, I thought he was gonna expect it dunk. Gonna, yeah, he thought he's <laughs> he gonna go for the deep dunk. Deep dunk. Ooh, flat like. I love that moment where you're just at the edge of the platform, extends your range mm -hmm. completely. If you look at the animation for Marth and Roy F smash, mm. if they're standing as far as possible on the ledge and they, 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 do, they do forward smash and pause, their feet are actually not touching the ground at all. Like they, they, they shift forward in the animation. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like they're just completely floating on the platform. Oh, that's great. <laughs> okay. Where do you, what is he, where do they want to go? Um, oh, because also in this stage, don't don't we still use this old rule, which is you, you ban stages first and yes, then you go yeah, back to Yeah, we are characters? doing stages first at this tournament. Because I know that people have been talking about character, character and then stages. Yeah, that's something that has been getting pushed for uh, recently. Which um, I'd be interested in seeing more. And of course, mm -hmm. after you learn all these other new characters, they start doing this. Yeah, I think it'd be interesting to, to try out. But for now, you know, just trying the new stage world first. I, I, liked, I think this is becoming a lot more popular of that mixing in Bowser's. Uh, on top of it into the stage list and then getting rid of uh, Delfino Secret. Yes. Which I think is sick. Yeah. But also for the fact that I just want to see new stages. Yeah, that is really cool seeing the, the new things, the new things getting just mixed up a little bit. I'm actually not sure what, um, to, to be 100% honest, what the, what the argument is of using Dreamland versus Delfinos. Mm. Since Dreamland has, you know, kind of a similar tri plat that you see in a lot of other stages. Um, I think they don't like the fact that the platforms are moving. Possibly. I, I think know that is a complaint that people have. Because when you look at the rest of the stage list, like, what what other ones that were there are the variables in terms of that? Because we don't play FOD. Yeah. Yeah, well, 
I mean, FOD is legal. It is legal, but, but we never see it down here. It, yeah, you don't see it very often. Oftentimes, the characters that are good on it will get banned for that stage. Like, you're, you're not going to let a Roy take you to FOD. Yeah. Unless, like, you also have a character, like, uh, Junebug got the Ganon on deck to switch over <laughs> whenever right, you get yeah. kind of I don't know. I can see it. I think it'd be interesting. Yeah. We'll see how, the, how everybody changes over. Oh, boy. How, so, in that scenario, we're seeing uh, two links. Very projectile heavy character, and Meta Knight, super good foot speed, great grab game off, and down throw, he does some really cool things. Could he not have just held ledge there? Not in that situation. He would have got clipped by it a little bit, um, since he, he did the up E relatively high, but no. it was... Well, that's gonna be but, but he yeah, did he up did, Yeah, he did it low, um, high enough that it still would have clipped him, like just barely, mm. so he had to get off the ledge so that he didn't get hit by like the heavy speed spot and potentially die, because that will kill you if it just bounces you off the stage like that. And yeah, the way that, I think if he had, if he had refreshed his vulnerability, he probably could have just held. Oh, oh. that's so much damage. So much damage. That disjoint. God, this short, stubby kid. Oh. Laying havoc to Meta Knight. This is, this is not good. I, what, what does Strong Bad need to do to come back? Oh. He needs to get a solid hit. Like, he hasn't really gotten a solid conversion on him. It doesn't feel like he's really just put hands on him and just gone to town. Yeah, down. this will be a chance. Why? Uh, yeah, he's going for a hard read to try and call the second place. But, but, but down smash would have been better for um, the second place. I think place. even down smash he shouldn't. He should have just, just done like the like the, the Falcon style reaction tech chase would have been. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm someone who like, when I play Meta Knight, I like going for down throws. Uh, I like going for down throw. If they tech in place, uh, I'll go for uh, re grabs. Mm -hmm. And I'll try to shuffle them off towards the side of the stage. And eventually I'll go for the hard read with using down smash or dimensional cape. But. Yeah, I, I feel like he definitely took a, an unnecessary risk. Didn't really stack the risk reward in his favor, but he will take that stock down finally. It's funny, I was reading a post from PPMD on um, SSBM, and uh, he rate gauges, um, he looks at everything as optimization, mm -hmm. is balancing out proper risk versus reward. I agree. I think that's the, that's the best way of looking at optimization. Mm -hmm. Like, the, the, the fact that people look at this game and they say, they're, oh, we just strive to be frame perfect. Well, frame perfect isn't, isn't necessarily like yeah, feasible. If, if and not, yeah, and definitely not feasible. And if you're not using the right moves, it doesn't matter if you're being frame perfect. Yeah, so it's a lot of, I think what people need to be thinking about is, is when they think optimized, they need to be thinking, my move selection was, was better. Like this was the, the most optimized way that I should be playing. Not because it's frame perfect, not because it's like, this is what the frame data says it should be, but what we should be going for is like, this is what's practical. <laughs> Yeah, what has the most coverage and the most reward for yeah. that coverage. Ooh, nice spacing. He's conked him. No? No. Oh. If he, okay. So what he had done there, he made him think that he could have combo DI'd out. Hmm. And if he had continued to do so, he would have gotten dunked off the stage. Yep. Oh, nice. Hurts. Up tilt, good anti here. It's very, very difficult landing on a Marth who's using up tilt. And it, it's really good for Marth because that's actually one of... He only has like two grounded kill moves, which is forward smash and up tilt. Yeah. And up, uh, side B to up tilt is like a floater killer. Like, while that is common, it's not going to play here on someone's... It's like stupid percentage. Yeah, it's not very reliable in general. It's like, when it does work, it's pretty reliable, but it's just a pretty small window to actually land it. Yeah. This playing super patient. They're playing the real estate game. Aww. They're playing the ground game. Like, this is mine. I have center stage and all this behind me. You have your corner. But Strong Bad saying, you know what? Uh, I'm about to move in. I'm about to take over this neighborhood. <laughs> this is mine now. Moving in like the mafia. Those little tiny movements are actually really, really important because they're what they are is he's, he's trying to set up a bait. Because a lot of times, whenever people will play, be playing someone and they're in a situation like that where they're shielding, um, if someone moves at all, they're thinking that that's going to be the time that they're going to go for the shield grab. So then, like you, you react to even this little tiniest movement with the spot dodge, kind of like the the the, like the Shota light kick feints, yeah, the fireballs. Yeah. And so even like those little tiny inches forward make it very, very difficult to just react to uh, what you expect them to do and just instantly do whatever. Because if he, if he had spot dodge there, he would have got forward smash. He'd be dead. And even in boxing, this is a, uh, something that is like a, a fate, right? Mm -hmm. the, yeah, yeah. the slight shift of the jab, and we saw we saw Ipo doing this. <laughs> in uh, who was it against? I can't remember. Oh Ooh. my gosh! That was a that was a rough one. 
supports off the side of the stage. Um, so in boxing, what you're doing is you're constantly laying waste on your opponent, right? You're constantly beating on their guard. And while you're doing this, they get trained to seeing your hands twitch because they're coming up with the punches. And so by twitching your hand, people think the punch is going to come. It's almost like double damage. Like you're yeah. afraid that it's coming. And they're already blocking, getting ready. Those micro spacing moments, dude, so important. Yeah, extremely important. Oh, that is one of the big advantages Marth has in this fight. The warrior likes to be jumping around in full hops, and that space is one space Marth is really good at covering with full hop forward air. Cuts through all the aerial real estate, real estate that warrior wants to be in. Oh, oh. no. He was that high percentage. He was, okay, yeah. But it's, it's okay. You can go back from that. But he really needed that, especially against someone like Lunchable. Okay, good mix good. up. How is he? Is he gonna finish with the part? I think he wants to save it. I don't blame him for wanting to save it. Yeah, he's at the percent now where he can start looking for normal kills. Ooh, good back air. Back air will do the trick. Because he knew. Because right there, Lunchable was trying to go for up tilt, but that's he just moved in at that right timing. Yeah, the back air from Wario is one of the few moves where it has really, really big um, horizontal range. Yeah. So it can invade in spaces like that. It's a really safe poke in general. Adam, what do you got for me, dude? Oh, oh this no! This could be it. Lunchables ran right into the command grab. Oh. Whoa. The super quick re-grab. Oh, you saw Austin's draw drop for a second. He was like, oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, the, uh, the way that he does the re-grabs like that are actually really good because... Um, Normally, you, whenever you're refreshing the legend vulnerability, you drop down and then you double jump up. Mm -hmm. But most characters aren't completely invulnerable whenever they do that. So, like the timing where Lunch pulls up beat there, like, he'll beat early, and he would get hit out of that. And then you know your stage spiked and you're off stage and you don't have a double jump and Mart's on the ledge and you're in a terrible, terrible position. But with Wario, he has a high enough double jump and enough aerial weave that he can let go of the ledge, double jump backwards, move completely out of the way, be completely above the stage, and then drift back to the ledge really fast. That aerial mobility that Wario has is of. Yes, it is. It's so Some of the best in the game. Maybe the best? I think it might be the Puff best. Puff is, I thought, better. I think it's between Mario and, Wario and Puff. Yeah. Like, they're, they're definitely like... I think they're contenders. Yeah, contenders. I think Wario's is better. It might be. It, it, they're both absurd is the it's important stupid. thing. It's <laughs> stupid. Like, oh, gosh, it's so good. And when you compare, combine that with some of the normals that, that Wario has... Mm -hmm. Yes, he like, becomes an aerial menace. It's so good because Nair is super sick at just pushing out and boxing out people. It's like the pseudo shine. Yeah. Back air is super sick. Like, yep. that's such a long hitbox. Yeah, like, up air, down air, setting up forward airs for combo follow-ups. His aerial is just great it, in general. It's, it's, he's, he's basically PM puff. And then you have a command grab. And then, you know, yeah, he has a command grab. So. Like, <laughs> okay, you're telling me, like, what if Geef could control how he jumps <laughs> yeah. and 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 then like you get command grabs like you can just do aerial SPD like yo <laughs> like Iron Tagger just gets like a jetpack <laughs> <laughs> and he just gets a jetpack and hover boots I think the more accurate way of putting it is if El Forte could like command dash in the air oh that, that's kind of like what it is because because he's not Warrior's not slow like he's not really like the like the grappler archetype. I mean, his ground, his ground movement is like his ground movement's fairly slow. Yeah, but that doesn't matter because he's always going to be in the air. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Just let's just do dumb stuff with El Fuerte. You know what's funny? When I first have friends trying to play Street Fighter 4, they're like, "Oh, El Fuerte is the most Smash character in this game." I was like, "Please, God, don't play this character." <laughs> I swear to God, because you're not playing Street Fighter at that yeah. point. Uh, I don't even know if I agree with that. If he's the most Smash-like character, he's just because they see his command dash, like, "Oh, dash okay, dancing." I, I was see, like, I "No." Not really. Don't do that. <laughs> Did he catch the double jump? I think he may have caught the double jump. Oh, he's, yeah. done. he's done. He's done. Yeah, it's not Okay. Adam. Strong back. Keeping it even. Uh, Launchables is still up a game here. But I think Strong has done a good job of saying, hey, listen, I, I'm still here. I'm still relevant. He's kept up with him. Okay, good falling back here to keep it safe on shield. Okay. Launchables deciding to slip away, not go for a scramble, just set up the bounce, but that's gonna pay with that huge combo from Strong Bad. Very, very good time to use the fart, <clears throat> sealing that stock super, super early. That was so cool. Yep, good. Back gonna scoop him up pretty far away. That distance would be pretty safe usually for Warrior to like set up the forward air and then drift, just drift backwards, but he, like obviously has a tether grab. And there's the aerial drift that you're talking about. Mm. Oh, good timing. A little bit small now, though. He's done. Oh, no, he hit him with the boomerang. <gasps> the boomerang clipped him. Oh, 
Oh, that's a bad deck, so that'll be it. Yeah, he kind of did the Hail Mary there. Yeah. But, I mean, 19%, like the gap, granted, the first thought that he took 3% difference, now it's 19%, so it's only slowly building, but it's all relevant. That just means that this this, this is looking pretty close. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely so. very, very close, especially with the combo that Strongbad got on the second stock. He shows he can, just given one really good opening, can make it count. Yeah. Oh, no. Chuck it up. Start with that beam. Why'd you dash attack? I don't think that that would have even gotten him that much. No, well, maybe, yeah. I think he was just trying to flip him with something before he hit. He got transitioned from. Oh, he tried to something ground. needy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying. Mm. Yeah. No, these, I, these projectiles. Yeah, I feel like Lunchables is like, okay, listen, you're doing really well with that command grab and a lot of your 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 close up tools. Let's just build percentage first. Yeah. Oh, Dare yeah. He went too high up and chased him to the top platform, thus enabling a much easier kill from Lunchables. Oh, he tried to big. read. That's big. It would have been big if it had hit. That would put him right back into the game. But now, now he doesn't have far. He needs to take out both these stocks. This means he has far. to play honestly. Extremely honestly, yeah. Oh, this oh. is so scary. He might actually play the slow game and try and make it last long enough so he has another fart with the second stock? Yeah, because especially, he has to be on the minute timer. Yeah, especially with the, the way the Lunchable's been playing. He's been playing pretty defensive, too. So it wouldn't be too hard to la make the game last that long. Oh! oh too many. Okay. The nice. only throw in the game that you can put butter on. Uh -huh. That's insane. <laughs> that's, that's insane. <laughs> Okay, and now we're seeing Lunchables going in. He's, he's now built percentage. Now he's pushed in. Yeah, and the part's going to be coming up pretty soon, so he does need to try and make things happen. I think what he wants is just to get him into a position with a little bit of percent on him. And then he can make the hard read and then shove him out horizontally. Probably a good idea. Yeah, at this point in time, he can start playing the projectile game a little bit more and start fishing for the kill. That's the Lunchables special. At higher percentages, generally, he likes to go for dash attack when people are close to ledge. Yeah. That's going to be enough to take it. Mm -hmm. And 3-1, Lunchables takes winner's finals over Strong Bad. Yeah. Keeping it super close. Oh, yeah, you see this combo that, that Strong Bad did. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Not, yeah, not 100% true. You saw there at the end, uh, mm -hmm. Lunchables you know, slipped slip back into to neutral. But he's in such a bad position. Like, you had you, to you, take yeah, it. Yeah, you're not going to swing at somebody in that sort of position. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you miss the neutral air, get down aired or something, and lose your stock for free. Yeah.